people today had to do a quick car edition because it still is a little windy and one of the things i want to talk about was beck v ohio i don't know if i can stress this enough simply because most people have very little idea what actual probable cause is because a police officer needs probable cause to make an arrest and Beck v. Ohio simply states no matter how you want to read it if there is no probable cause for an arrest the arrest is illegal and unconstitutional so when you're looking at the aspects of them going or taking you to jail or restricting your liberty for whatever reason when your liberty is at stake for whatever reason, whether it be a traffic ticket, it's illegal. Whether it's probation, it's illegal. Whether it's child support, it's illegal. And these need to be addressed or redressed in federal court. Because again, I don't know how many times I can say it. Probable cause is, just like we stated, sure, V. Cullen. A crime is damage to person or damage to property or the police witnessing a felony. I'm going to go into cases today later regarding that very statement because there is a misconception of exactly what a police officer can and cannot do under their fiduciary duty and the Constitution. So, understanding, if there's no probable cause, there can be no arrest, and if there is an arrest, the arrest itself is illegal and unconstitutional. Beck v. Ohio. Keep that in mind. Until next time.